should be enough, right? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So today I'm gonna to be doing the packing my hospital bag, yay. And I am fully aware that I'm probably the only person that's gonna be doing this around 27 weeks. People tend to do it 30, 34 sort of weeks, but do you know what, after what happened the other day, I just wanna be prepared and I just wanna be ready because I'm getting uncomfortable and I'd like to get it done now so I'm prepared and I'm ready so I asked you guys if you want to see me do this video and you have said that you do so that's what we're gonna do so yeah so I'm actually using Liam's um, Nike holdall because it's really big it's one of these like big gym bags uh, so it's huge um, because there's going to be so much stuff in here and I actually don't have a bag that's big enough and I can't be bothered with buying this hospital bag so we're just going to use this. So it's pretty much just going to be baby girls things because I still need to get a few bits. I, obviously I need to get nighties because you have to have nighties. Um, I still need to get things like um, breast pads and uh, what else? I think you need like panty liners and stuff like that so it's pretty much just the baby's side because I still need to get quite a few bits like some fluffy socks and stuff like that but let's go through it my slippers because I want to be cozy and I want to be comfy and I just want to make it as I just want to make it as homely as possible I don't want to think of myself in hospital I just want to think of myself as the best time of my life it's going to be quite stressful but it's going to be the best time of my life and I just want to be cozy and just feel like I'm kind of at home so I'm going to try and make it as normal as possible so these are my slippers these are coming with me they're a size up these are what I've been wearing ever since I've been pregnant because they are so comfortable and I love them but I obviously I am wearing them now around the house so I will be keeping these out but I will make sure to pop them in if I remember <laughs> but these will be coming with me yeah next thing I want to bring with me is some joggers just some comfy joggers um, obviously I have no idea what I'm gonna be wearing I've got no, I've no idea what to expect but I would like to have some comfy joggers these are like really really soft material they're like the coziest joggers that I own and they're really like elasticated so it'll go around my bump and yeah so these are really comfortable so they are most definitely going in my bag. Okay, so moving on to baby things. So the first thing that I definitely want to bring, and I am kind of following the what to pack in a hospital bag from the app that I've got. It's called Bounty app. Um, and it's what should I pack in the hospital bag for the baby. So I'm just following this. So it says here, nappies, nappy bags, towels, pack of wipes, muslin squares, that sort of thing. So, I'm going to bring these, just some baby wipes, so they're going in there, muslin squares, is, if this is what they're called, I don't even know what these are for, but they're going with me, or blanket of some sort, I think it's what you put across your shoulder to burp them, I'm not sure, I have no idea, but this is coming with me, don't know what it's called, <laughs> um, nappies. Hoping this is going to be enough, um, but I, I honestly don't know. So I've got one, two, uh, I've got about 15 nappies here, um, and these are all the one size, I believe. But yeah, I'm going to bring them, so they're going to go in there. Um, should be enough, right? <laughs> you never know, however many we need. And then I'm obviously going to be bringing baby grows so first of all I've got quite a few options because we have no idea how big or small she's gonna be obviously we are going for a growth scan um, in two weeks time we're going for a growth scan so we will get kind of like I guess they'll be able to tell us a little bit like how big or small she's gonna be so I'm gonna bring a few baby grows I'm gonna bring some zero to three I'm gonna bring some tiny baby ones some newborn and 
the one above 0 to 3. I think it's is it three to six or something I'm not sure but I'm just gonna bring quite a few sizes because I'm just panicking if she doesn't fit in it so this is the first one I'm gonna bring this has actually been given to us by my dad and his wife um, quite cute and then these are just baby these are just white plain ones because you can dress these up anyway but this is just a plain white one this is a zero to three this one is, I think this is a size up. And then these are ones that I've got her. These are zero to three because I, obviously I don't know how long we're gonna be in the hospital. I don't know, she might have like a little, she might have a little blowout and then we'll need a new, <laughs> new baby grow. So this is another one I'm gonna bring with some little hearts on it. Um, and then another one, so cute. Oh my God. So oh, cute. Um, and then I think this is a jumper, a little jumper as well to go over the baby grows. So they're going in there. Also, we're going to bring some sleep suits as well. So, oh, we've got another baby grow here that I've, I'm going to bring as well. So I'm sure I've got plenty of baby grows um, for her to go in because I, I just don't know how long I'm going to be in there. Um, and then this is a little baby grow, little sleep suit. So cute. So that's going in there. And then if little baby girl is born in 2019, then me and Liam, me and daddy have brought her this little suit, little grow, baby grow. And it says born in 2019 and so much love. So if she is born in 2019, this will be hopefully the first thing that she will go into. I'm really hoping. Because um, it's just so cute. Love it. So yeah, this is coming. And this is in the... I'm going to leave the hangers on because ugh, you never know. She could come out a boy. <laughs> so I'm going to leave the hangers on and the tags and stuff for now. Um, but yeah. This is in the size first size. So this is definitely going in there. Then, when she comes home, obviously we are going to have the car seat ready, because you have to. Um, that's all ready. But if she, when she comes home, she's going to need a little coat, because she most likely, well, she will be born in the winter, regardless. Her due date is the 28th of December. So, I mean, she could come, she could come before Christmas sort of time, Christmas Day, Christmas Eve. She could come after, she could come late November, who knows, I have no idea, I don't know when she's going to be cooked and ready, but this is her little going home coat, it is so cute, it's got little little mitten things that you pull over so her hands are covered, it's this really lovely coat and it buttons down, pops down, poppers down here, little feet, it's so cute, and this is the size first size, so hopefully this will fit. Um, Mum seems to think this will be too small. Let me try and show you a bit. There you go. Personally, I don't think she's going to be any bigger than that, but we never know. <laughs> um, and then another little suit that I want her to have, because it is going to be quite cold, is this one here. So this is the Minnie Mouse two-piece set. So it's got like a little jumper and then some trousies. So... This is really cute. Oh, I can't wait to see her in these. I actually cannot wait to see her in all this. It melts my heart. It really does. Some of you have said that I sparkle when I talk about her, and uh, I must do because she just just makes me so happy. And obviously, I'm very nervous. I'm very scared. We are like <laughs> it's very scary, but. I'm so excited and I, I just can't wait to meet you. I can't stop thinking about like what she looks like. I've got no idea. So, and then another little baby grow as well I'm gonna bring. Because you just don't know. I just don't know what I'm gonna need. I've got like a whole wardrobe here. Also, I wanna bring her first little toy, little um, cuddly toy. So this is the comforter. I got this from Asda. So it's like I've got a little blankie on it really like cozy blanket sort of thing really really soft 
and then it's got this little bunny rabbit so this is going to be like our first thing to hold and oh I need some nappy bags as well I'll have to go and get them um, wipes cotton wool balls have to get them body suits baby grows scratch mittens socks hats and jacket okay so here's the little sockies so they are just so adorable <laughs> Look at them. So I've got three socks, three pairs of socks. And then <coughs> I've got some little scratch mitts as well. Little scratchy mitts. They're just plain white. Um, I guess I'll just better bring them all. So they're going to go in there. Um, and then I've got some shoes for her. So these little shoes will hopefully be on her when she comes home in her little car seat. They are baby shoes, so you can put them on. They velcro at the side, so there's a lot of room for them. Like, if you don't want them velcroed up or whatever. Um, but they look so cute and comfortable, so hopefully she will be coming home in these. <laughs> so they're going in there, her little booties. Because it is going to be quite chilly, I want her to have a hat, and it does say have a hat as well. So this is going to be, hopefully, her first hat. This is the tiniest hat that I've got. I've got hats that are like for when she's a baby, when she's a toddler, and for like six months onwards and stuff. So this is gonna be her first little hat. So yeah, she's gonna look well cute. She's gonna look like a little, little me. <laughs> so yeah, I think that is pretty much it for baby girl. Now for me, like I said, my slippers will be going in there, my joggers will be going in there, I will need, I'd like a few 90s in there, I'm going to need a few tops. Um, I also need to get a few hoodies, but I need to start, I need to get some hoodies that are really, really big, because I want to be cosy, and my bump is getting big. So by the time I will be going into labour, sorry, Nala's playing with her toy, by the time I will be going into labour, um, I can imagine I'm going to be huge so um, I'm going to order a few jumpers from somewhere I don't know where let me know if you know anywhere where like they do really good maternity jumpers and clothes and stuff um, but yeah and then I need to get my outfits ready like I need to get my clothes ready and then what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to make a makeup bag solely for hospital so I'm going to put all of my makeup in this bag with the M on it because I'm just going to put all my toiletries in here and my makeup that I'm going to use because to be fair I'm not going to be caring about makeup I don't think. So I'm just going to have like some BB cream foundation mascara pretty much what I've just got on now so I'm going to use that. Um, lip balm 100% that's going in there and then I'm just going to have probably like snacks and stuff because I'm sure I'm going to feel sick can guarantee it um, and my water bottle and some tea bags because I was at hospital once and they didn't have tea and I was really annoyed so I'm gonna bring some tea bags um, I think that's it and then obviously my pregnancy notes um, what else I really don't know you guys I really do not know what I'm gonna need oh pants leggings I am not going to be going into jeans I have not worn jeans since the day I got pregnant <laughs> I will not fit them cannot be asked with it I just want to be in cozy leggings I have worn nothing but leggings and like sweatpants since I've been pregnant so I'm going to bring loads of leggings loads of tops loads of long oversized tops um, and just things like that and then I'll bring like my shower gel moisturizer shampoo and stuff like that so yeah, that is my bag. It is looking really full and she's taken up the whole of my bag. Like, I've not even put myself first here. It's, it's her all the way. So <laughs> everything is pretty much hers in that bag. But I now feel like if it happens and we do go into the hospital and she does come, then I am prepared because after what happened the other day, it can happen at any time. Like people can go into labor pretty much any time. So. I just want to be prepared <laughs> I do not want to be fannying around rushing around trying to find things so let me know if I've missed anything really please do let me know because I want to be 100% prepared so let me know if I've missed anything for myself or for the baby um, or anything else that I do need that's very very important please let me know down below 
and subscribe if you haven't already because there are going to be tons and tons and tons of pregnancy updates and yeah I can't wait to bring her home and you meet her one day it's going to be amazing so thank you for all your support and all of your messages um it really means a lot so I love you guys and I will see you in another video bye Nala